What's up guys, this is Shane from the Pro Pedal Shop. Today we're going to make a how-to video of how to program an E3D, this one's mine, aux switch into an eventide time factor. Super easy, so let's get started. First thing you're going to do is press down this knob and this knob simultaneously. It's going to read bypass. Next thing you're going to do is take this and scroll it on over to the aux switch, click it in. So now the first thing it says bypass, then we have bank up, bank down, tap, repeat, so on and so forth. The manual explains all this. Um, I'm just going to describe the basic functions that I use. Um, so as of right now, this is my bank down, my repeat on off, and my tap tempo. So let's start to program it. Um, so I want this one to be my bank down, so let's go to bank down. So bank minus. And as you can see, there's an arrow with two blinking lights. So right now, the arrow's pointed to the left. I want it to face over here so I could program it. So click this. Arrow switches to the right. All you have to do, press that. And assigns it to the tip in the ring. It's easy as that. So now we have to go back. Now the arrow's pointed to the left. So the bank down is now assigned to the tip ring, which is this first one. Next, I want to do my tap. So press it over. Arrow's facing over there. Now I'm going to hit my tap. Now it's assigned to the tip of the TRS cable that you have. Bring it back. Arrow's pointing this way. Now I could select. Go to repeat. Put it over there. Tap that. Now it's on the ring. Flip it back. That's all you do. A lot of people have trouble because uh, when they press something, something happens like bypass. So what happens is usually when you first buy an eventide, um, the aux switch is set to the tip in the ring so what you're going to want to do is make sure everything else has nothing assigned to it so you're going to want to go through everything and make sure that the only three things that are assigned are what you want so the rest of mine has nothing assigned to it at all pretty simple so once again we have tip ring the tip and the ring. Alright, so let's try this out now. So to get back into it, you either press the middle switch or just click on that. Bring us back to the aux switch and then hold both these buttons down again simultaneously. Uh, I messed up. There we go, back out of it, but just show you real quick. You're in the main kind of function, just hold them back, both down again, and it'll get you back. Um, so right now, um, this is my bank up, here's my bank down, repeat on, repeat off, and then tap tempo. Okay, now here's another problem that people encounter. Um, they are set into the tap tempo mode. What you don't want to be is in this mode. Because right now all you can do is essentially you just have two tap tempos, and the only thing you can do is um, pretty much absolutely nothing except for repeat on off and then tap tempo so what you're going to want to do is make sure you're in the bank mode this way you can choose your first one or your second one uh, bank up choose it bank down choose it so that's it let us know if you have any questions um, to get one of these visit this one's mine.com i'll provide a link at the bottom uh, thanks for watching that's it. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's 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 try everything out. Tap tempo. Works great. So let, let us know if you have any questions. Easy as that. Thanks. See you guys later.